Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss on this topic which is called wireless networking. Now, what is networking? When two or more computers is connected in such a manner that data is passing from one computer to another computer then this is called networking. Now why it is called wireless? We do not need to attach any kind of wire to our system to achieve internet connection. So this is so this is called wireless networking. Now move on to the next slide. What is wireless networking? With the help of wireless technology, we can transfer data from one device to another without using wires or cables. Using this technology, we can establish network which is more flexible, intangible, and easy to access. Now, why it is called flexible? When you are using any smartphone, tablets, or devices that supports Wi-Fi, then you can move from one place to another without any kind of hesitation. So, this is called flexible. Why it is called intangible? You do not need to touch anything. Now, in a wired network, you need a wire, but here you do not need any wire. And this is totally user friendly, thus it is called ease to access. Now, in a wired network, data is passing through wires or cables. Now, here data is passing through RF signal. What is RF signal? RF signal means radio frequency signals. The range of this signal is around 30 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz. This signal falls under the category of EM waves. Now what is EM waves? That is electromagnetic waves. Now light is also an electromagnetic wave but we can see light. But RF signal is totally invisible to our eyes. The users FM radio station use RF signal to broadcast signals. The frequency is used as the station name like 93.5 red FM. Requirement to create wireless network. Network interface card NIC used for wireless networks. Now see we also need network interface card in our wired system. But here the WNIC is used which is called wireless network interface card. NIC is nothing but an antenna but it is unlike the RJ45 cable. RJ45 cable we use in our wired network. Access point is generating access point for generating signal and established connection between devices. Access point is the central device from which this RF signal is being generated and we need devices which has wireless signal adapter. <coughs> Sorry. Types of wireless networks. Based on the size, wireless networks are divided in four categories. Wireless LAN that is wireless local area network, wireless MAN that is wireless metropolitan area network, and wireless WAN that is wireless wide area network, and wireless PAN that is wireless personal area network. What is wireless LAN? Wireless LAN means local area wireless local area network. This is a network where two or more computers are connected that covers only a limited area. Suppose in a school, in an office, in a college for, for a limited area. The NIC is used in this connection where it has a small range to cover. There is a mistake that is not NIC. We need a WNIC in this system. We often call this peer-to-peer -peer network. Now why it is called peer-to-peer -peer network? There is no coordinator. When there is no coordinator between a network, then it is called a peer-to-peer -peer network. This is totally impractical in sense. This is also called ad hoc network. Now, a network which is used in a temporary manner, then it is called an ad hoc network. As an example, we can say that in here, we if we switch off this access point, then we do not we cannot connect to internet and the network connection will totally interrupt it. So this is called ad hoc network. At the left side we see the wireless network interface card that is WNIC. The stick beside this is actually uh, the antenna and this RJ45 and the right side you are seeing that RJ45 cable. This is used in wired networks. Unlike switch, in a wired network, a special device is used in WLAN which is called access point. This is the central device from which the RF signal is being generated. WLAN which uses access point are called PSS that is basic service set. This acts as a coordinator between different devices. Now see in a network there is a coordinator is 
needed for controlling other devices. The left side is the diagram of BSS that is basic service set at the central device the access point is there and which is connected to two nodes uh, you can say that two computers and the right side you are seeing this access point this is nothing but the uh, diagram you are seeing in BSS the access point this is the right side is also an access point Wi-Fi wireless fidelity we are using abbreviation Wi-Fi but in full form it is called wireless fidelity RF signal frequency is 2.4 GHz to 5 GHz in this technology. Wi-Fi technology is only used in WLAN. The range is about 100 meters. Wi-Fi products are certified and tested by Wi-Fi Alliance. We can see these trademarks in most of the Wi-Fi devices such as our smartphones, tablets and many kinds of portable devices which support this Wi-Fi. Now, WMAN, Wireless Metropolitan Area Network. This is nothing but collected unit of many WLANs located at various places. It uses WiMAX technology that is worldwide interoperability for microwave access which is controlled by WiMAX forum. The maximum speed we can gain here is 1 gigabits per second. This is fall under the category of IEEE 802.16 standard. What is IEEE standards? I am discussing later on. WMAN, WAN, Wireless Wide Area Network. WAN is a very large network which is spread over a very large area. It connects many cities together. Mobile phones use WAN to make communication possible. The technology in WAN are subdivided in many generations 2G, 3G, and 4G. You may heard of these terms. The communication system which was used before the emergence of 2G is called 1G which was used in 1980. This technology used in most of the analog devices but there was no digital devices in 1980s. 2G Examples of second generation technologies <coughs> are GPS that is called General Packet Radio Service and Edge Enhanced Data Rates for GSM Evolution. 3G Examples of third generation technologies are CDMA that is called Code Division Multiple Access, UMTS Universal Mobile Telecommunication System, HSPA that is High Speed Packet Access, HSPA Plus Evolved High Speed Packet Access, 4G High Speed Network Accessibility can be achieved in this technology. The examples of fourth generation technologies are LTE and VoLTE. LTE means long term evolution and VoLTE means voice over long term evolution. Now in this picture you are seeing the practical scenario. In 1G in 1980s the only single voice was going from one device to another device. The analog protocol is used here. In 1980s 2G network has come voice and SMS that means voice and text both are going from one device to another device and the standards digital standards is used over here the speed is also increasing as you see here 2.4 kbps to 16 kbps <coughs> sorry 3g now 2003 3g has evolved which has voice and data both the multimedia technology is used over here and has a speed of 2 megabits per second now 4g 2009 4g has come to the market the data is going and the voice is also going through data protocol IP is used over here 100 Mbps is the highest speed now 5G technology will be evolved uh, in 2020 the data is going from one device to another device and the bandwidth mobility is a key factor of this technology will be now WPAN wireless personal area network the wireless networks that are used in smaller distances are known as WPAN. Now see if you are using any Bluetooth headset or Bluetooth speaker and you are connecting through your smartphone or tablet this network is called wireless personal area network. The communication between a mobile phone and its Bluetooth headset is typically an example of WPAN. Two kinds of network technologies are used for WPAN that is Bluetooth and infrared data association in our previous mobile phone technologies infrared data association 
were being used. Bluetooth It is used to connect devices in personal area network without using cables. Use ISM bands 2.4 GHz. What is ISM bands? This industrial, scientific and medical band. Speed up to 721 kbps this is the highest speed we can gain in bluetooth devices range is 10 to 100 meters now see this is uh, basically a kind of local area network uh, because the distance is very short over here but you cannot call it a wireless uh, local area network it is a personal area network now when you are using any network and there is a hacker is sitting at the middle of this process then and he is using any antenna then this network can easily be hacked so security options is necessary in wireless network data can be easily hacked in wireless network without using proper security the RF signal can be intercepted by antenna as I said earlier three commonly used security systems are wired equivalent privacy that is WEP Wi-Fi protected access that is WPA and Wi-Fi protected access 2 that is WPA2. What is WEP? Security standard released in 1997. The encryption algorithm used in WEP was easily breakable by hackers. Now you may ask what is encryption? Encryption is nothing but it refers to the technology of converting data in such a way that it's understood only by the sender and receiver the coding and decoding this is encryption now in here the encryption algorithm was not uh, that much reliable and it was easily breakable by hackers thus we do not we uh, cannot use this WEP security system so we need WPA WPA which is released in 2003 invented by Wi-Fi Alliance required firmware upgradation instead of changing any hardware component it uses TKIP algorithm that is temporal key integrity protocol better security than WEP now as you see earlier that is the algorithm used in WEP the encryption algorithm was easily breakable but here the algorithm was a bit higher level but though we need a better security than WPA so the WPA2 has emerged released in 2004 advanced security features are available in WPA2 advanced security advanced encryption standard AES algorithm used for better security in WPA2 now I have said earlier that I will discuss this IEEE standards <clears throat> what is IEEE IEEE is international institution of sorry IEEE means institution of electrical and electronics engineers they develops different kind of stand standards for different devices and connections there are various types of standards decide for wireless networks IEEE is the authority which determines various standards for functioning of wireless networks most of the networking standards are mostly designed by 802 standards committee in this networking standard IEEE wireless standards first wireless LAN came into existence in 1997 IEEE 802.11 standard was designed for that purpose frequency used is 2.4 GHz maximum speed is 2 Mbps this standard is now called 802.11 legacy IEEE wireless standards in 1999 this standards was introduced 802.11a and 802.11b in the same year frequency in 802.11a was 5 gigahertz and the maximum speed is 54 mbps and in 802.11b the frequency is 2.4 gigahertz but maximum speed we can gain here is 11 mbps now in w in ieee standards 802.11 you see the frequency is used over here 2.4 gigahertz but the speed is low here 2 mbps but in here you can you may see that a 802.11 b the maximum speed is 11 mbps in 2003 802.11 g was introduced the frequency is used over here is 2.4 gigahertz and the speed is 54 mbps in year 2009 802.11 n 
this frequency is here is 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz and the speed is achieved here is 300 mbps now what are the drawbacks of this wireless networking rf signal strength gets weakened while going through a certain distance the signal is affected by opaque body such as concrete walls big objects and even by human body as the signal is transmitted as RF signal it is easy for the hacker to hack by using an antenna so these are the drawbacks of this wireless networking now why we use wireless networking why there is a wire network now see it is helpful for portable devices as I said earlier this is flexible you may carry laptops mobile tablet from one place to another place and you can establish this connection anywhere now you can create a hotspot from your mobile and you can get access from your tablet or uh, laptop now see you can create this network in any place the establishment of this network con network connection is very easy and introducing to a new device in the network is also easy here you can connect 10 or more than 10 devices in this network without any kind of hesitation the security system is more featured in this wireless network as you say as you as i said earlier that wpa and wpa2 the most uh, better algorithm used for a security purpose so you can rely on this thanks for watching this video keep subscribing thank you